The Uganda Amnesty Commission has so far granted amnesty to 28,500 ex-combatants who openly denounced rebellion in various parts of the country. This positive gesture has contributed to a reduction in criminality. Among those granted amnesty are high-profile individuals who had committed atrocities, whether through recruitment, abduction or personal choice. Remember the, the late Bamuze from, uh, from the Arua region. Uh, you remember the recently returned uh, people from the Central African Republic. And there was a major general whom we are now considering to grant amnesty. There is also the Omsinga of Renzurulu, the king. And we have already granted amnesty and very soon we shall re-engage with the process of uh, meeting some of the people who were involved in that incident. Nathan Twino, the chief legal advisor of the Amnesty Commission, emphasizes that amnesty is not extended to children who engage in rebel activities without consent. But if you were abducted and you are an adult and you commit offenses while in the bush, then you will be uh, granted amnesty if you ask for it. For the offenses you may have committed while in the bush. Uh, some who may have committed very serious offenses, we will not grant amnesty. But those who may have committed low level uh, offenses while in the bush, then amnesty is considered. High level uh, offenses or crimes may be crimes against humanity. These are very serious crimes like mass murder, like genocide. Their amnesty may not be granted and those will be taken through the court process. The commission collaborates with courts to ensure a comprehensive process for considering candidates for amnesty. The process of granting amnesty involves consulting with individuals in areas where atrocities were committed, ensuring that candidates for amnesty are integrated into their communities. We first go there, prepare the people, find out that there are no feelings of revenge, and if there are feelings of revenge, then we counsel the people, we talk to them, and we are happy to report that most of our people are well accepted back in their communities. After undergoing psychosocial support, individuals are awarded a certificate of amnesty. However, this amnesty privilege cannot be reinstated if violated. And that certificate means you will not be prosecuted for the offenses you may have committed while in the bush. And so it's, that certificate is very, very important because it means that you are a free person, that you can engage in all civic ac activities, that you can even stand for elections. So it means that we wash away all your sins as long as you promise not to sin again. Ex-fighters are provided with startup packages including 260,000 shillings, mattresses, saucepans, beans and maize regardless of their previous status. The Amnesty Commission is considering to implement skilling programs to equip ex-combatants with practical skills like carpentry and mechanics that can enhance their livelihoods. This initiative will support their transition into productive members of society. Ivan Kahua, UBC News.